Good timing. Will you go to Kikuchiba with me? Yeah, sure. Why Kikuchiba? I thought we could go somewhere to talk like when we went to Mizuhagawa. We won't need lunch. I just want to talk. Oh, got it. No lunch, huh? I guess that was too much last time. Let's go to the roof of that building. I want to talk somewhere I can see the sky. Got it. There are a lot of others here, like always. It'll be easy for us if we work together. Let's go. Keep it up. Next. This is pretty rare. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? When was that? You don't remember? You asked me if there was anyone I liked out of the blue. You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. Back then, I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them. More than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you two, but be careful. So, how should we go about this? Let's split up. We can work more efficiently that way. All right. I'll go this way. I'll contact you when I've cleaned most of them up. I'm counting on you. Ah. <sighs> Wataru wasn't joking. That sure is a lot. I hope Kasane is okay. Oh. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Wataru, what's the situation? Damn, I can't get through. Is the network down? I can't even use SAS. Calm down. It's all right. I can do this. It's so quiet. I can't hear anyone. Keep it up. It's like I'm really alone. You know, this is what normal really is. No way! I'm so used to always being connected to someone through SAS. If I lose my power and go back to being a dud, it will always be like this. It's strange, though. I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. I thought I would feel more lonely. Is it because I'm stronger? <laughs> Probably not. I can feel it in my bones that Kasane is fighting somewhere. Even by herself. I know she won't give any ground. So I can't just die here. Keep it up. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Okay, battle's over.
I think there's something over there. Still down? We almost got it. We can finish this if we attack together. Let's do this! That was a close one. It was? I wasn't really all that worried. I assumed you would act when you did. <laughs> I was nervous. I guess we can work together even without SAS. I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else. Thank you for getting the timing right. <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you. You're always so harsh. Am I? Well, whatever. Let's make our way to the top. We can see the moon from here. It's beautiful. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? When the fighting is over, what do you plan to do? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. 
We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. I won't let what happened to Nagi happen to anyone else. That's the least I can do for him. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient, but you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be all right. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. Oh. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet, but I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon. I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean, Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother, and the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kinda like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere, even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No, I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us.
Though listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. Yuito, I have a favor to ask. Will you climb Hieno Mountain with me? Sure, but why? Was there another warning there or something? No, I just want to climb the mountain. The truth is, I'm still worried about my power. Lifting weights is not enough to shake my insecurity. I want to put myself in an extreme situation to clear my thoughts. And you thought of Hieno Mountain? But you had a pretty tough time climbing it before. It was certainly difficult climbing the mountain with this body. But that's why I want to do it. I want to climb it with my own strength, and see just how strong I've become. So I don't want you to help unless it's an emergency, or another appears. You want to test your limits? Okay, but don't do anything crazy. Thank you very much. Maybe we should take a break. I can still go on. I'm sorry for causing you some problems of late. Don't worry about it. It's good to talk to someone. I understand in theory that I shouldn't let losing my power bother me. But being a dud is something that has occupied my mind for a very long time. A dud's quality of life is hardly considered in current Nuhimuka society. It's the same as if they don't exist. If I lose my power, that's what will happen to me. And that scares me. I guess not being able to see the net or visions is the same as being ignored by the world. But since they're outside of society, doesn't that mean they can change it from the outside? That's just idealism. Society does not work that way. That may be true, but that doesn't mean you should just give up. You're still young enough to have hopes like that. I've been alive in this world for decades. I'm painfully aware of what can and cannot be done. I am not the child that I appear to be. I know you're not a child, so don't give up so easily. If you don't face the problem like an adult, nothing will change. But... but I... Uh... Watch out! Th thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was scary. I'm glad you didn't slip. Oh, I guess you could have teleported. It happened so fast. If I had fallen, that may have been it. You ended up saving me, even though I said I was here to test my own strength. Does it matter? I mean, I only helped you then. You climbed all this way by yourself. It's okay to get help when you really need it. I don't think being strong is doing everything by yourself without anyone's help. <laughs> I see. Oh, sorry. That was a little high-handed. No, you're right. You made me think of my brother. Former Major General Karin? He is adored by everyone. But he trusts no one and takes all the burdens on himself. I've always followed in my brother's footsteps. But I don't need to follow his path anymore. I don't want to be like Karin. In fact, I shouldn't be. <sighs> Yuito, I apologize for getting emotional. No, I was mouthing off too. Let's call it even. Alright. Now, let's get to the top. 
If we don't hurry, the sun will set before we get down. <sighs> We're here. Oh, we made it. You did it. Yes, it was the result of my daily exercise. And your help. I was just along for the ride. Like I said, you got here on your own. Thank you. New Himuka looks so small from here. From this far away, the people look like ants. It's strange. Small people, big people, psionics, duds. They are all just specks when seen from far away. Nations and societies are just gatherings of those specks. If that's the case, perhaps something can be done. It looks like he has an idea. I guess the mountain climbing helped. All right, thanks to our climb, I understand what issue I must focus on. That's great. So you're not worried anymore? No. First, I must get bigger. You don't mean taller, do you? <laughs> I mean mentally. You can't change the world alone. It requires small efforts by many people. So I want to have the capacity to accept everyone's ideas without losing myself. If I can depend on people, and be depended on, anything is possible. I see. You look satisfied. Yes, but this is only the beginning. I still have far to go. I'm impressed. He seems bigger already. Okay, I have to get to work too. Oh, how spirited. We should train together then. I will make a program right away. What? Oh man, can't we just take it easy today? I always looked up to my brother's strength. But lately I believe that your kind of strength is what I should aspire to. What? I don't think I'm very strong though. I don't mean your power or fighting prowess. Perhaps I should say strength of mind. You don't compromise. I think I could change if I had your unbending will. I feel like I'm another step closer to knowing you. Well, I'm taking a step closer too, so it's like we both did. Everyone, will you listen to me for a minute? Huh? What's wrong, Gemma? Why are you shouting? Sorry, but while everyone is here at the hideout, I have something to say. It must be important if it makes you look that serious. Come on, everyone, listen to him. Gemma always looks like that, though. Don't worry about how I look. I'd like to reprimand Arashi for her violation. Oh, I have something to say, too. Don't leave your stuff in my personal space. By personal space, do you mean what we agreed about when we merged Yuito and Kasane platoons? The agreement was to have everyone keep their belongings in their own space, right? Arashi, your stuff is all over the place. Your personal space seems to be growing. Yeah, it's three centimeters bigger than it was yesterday. Is that really a big deal, Shiden? What's that supposed to mean? It's not like we drew lines on the floor or something. There was never any rule about not expanding your space. That's unfair, Arashi. This hideout is for everyone, so we have to use it fairly. Then let's make a new rule. Hmm. How about we have a contest? And if you win, I'll get the space back. If I win, I get half of the loser space. Even though you took your extra space unfairly? That doesn't sound right. What kind of contest? You mean with our powers? No, how about a game instead? I just stumbled across a good one. Wait, what? That's Final Jockey! That game was really popular in the OSF a long time ago. 
Hey, I made a name for myself as a genius jockey in Suo. You're sure about what you just said? Of course I am. All right, I'll be taking Arashi's face then. Don't come crying to me when you fall off your horse. No, it, it can't be. Me, the undefeated jockey genius Kagero, lost? But Arashi, you cheated. You used hypervelocity to push the button faster. Hey, that's just strategy. No one said you couldn't use your powers. But just pushing the button fast drains stamina and you'll lose. Ha, I got it. You glitched the game by pressing the buttons fast. Ugh, you play dirty. <laughs> Say what you will, scrubs. If you don't like it, you can come face the true king of this unit. Me, with all the powers you have. Then, how about facing me? I want more room for another planter. And I feel bad for Kagero. Oh, me too! I want more space for my Baki collection. I'll pass. I don't understand all that pew-pew stuff. I'll sit out too. This is all so ridiculous. I'll just move Arashi's stuff with my psychokinesis. I'll settle for watching as well. I enjoy physical exercise much more than virtual contests. Okay, alright. The Fraser twins are in it to win it! Now I'm involved in this? Let's just have a fair game. How many people can play at once? I'll join if there's room for me. This looks like fun. I want to play with everyone too. I want to play too. Just hold on a second. Let me get my lucky bandana, then I'll pray. Okay, now my lucky power is fully charged. I'll take you all on at once then. Let the games begin. The Great Unit Space Cup has begun! Kagero and Luca here, bringing you coverage live! Wait, me? And the horses are out of the gates! Harashi is so fast! That hypervelocity is pushing it as fast as any pro! First things first, we have to stop Arashi. Wait, it looks like Yuito locked Arashi's buttons with his psychokinesis! You've got a lot of guts going against me like that! What? That great item I just got was completely wasted. Arashi's playing dirty as expected. She used hypervelocity to push buttons on Yuito's controller. Meanwhile, my angel Sugumi's horse seems to have stopped? I didn't realize my horse's stamina was running out. Oh, I made the same mistake. I was furiously trying to push the button as fast as I could. I guess the glitch doesn't occur when you rapidly push buttons without hypervelocity. Also, Sugumi and Hanabi's powers aren't suited for video games, putting them at a disadvantage. Huh. They can just use their natural ability then. Oh, Shiden is creeping up on Arashi while she tries slowing down Yuito. Take a banana peel! Huh? Shiden's character suddenly stopped moving. What? What's happening? Move! Move! Sheedon must have accidentally let an electrical surge through to the controller. It's broken. I see. Makes sense considering how careless he is. What did you say, Kagero? Oh, the Fraser twins are throwing items at each other. They both look very angry. What are those two doing? Maybe they're having a telepathic argument. I see. There's no telling what they're saying, but it seems very serious. That's right, Haruka is totally evil! Oh, shut up! You're the one that said I sucked just because I messed up the controls a little. I didn't even want to play this stupid game, but you had to get me involved with your telepathy. Ah, uh, back to the race. It seems like Arashi and Major Kyoka are still in it? They are very far apart, though. At this rate. What's this? Did a secret invulnerability carrot just appear? Kyoka used it! Huh? My horse is glowing after getting that carrot thing. Major, dash! Bump into Arashi! Huh? What? What's going on? 
Wow. Yoka's horse flung Arashi's horse away. Then I'll be taking this unit space. I'll be splitting it up amongst everyone evenly. That's an end to this violation thing. No more arguing, got it? Hey, let's do it again, but with no powers. This game is really fun. Come on, Luca, you too. Me? Well, I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> Everyone's having a blast. That game may be old, but it sure has value. Yeah. Recreation is important, after all. You're really good at games, Arashi. I doubt I could beat you even if you didn't use your power. Yeah, but she lost to a novice gamer like Kyoka. Wait, so Kasane, you saw right through it? Huh? What do you mean? Arashi, Kyoka, and Gemma were in cahoots. Sorry. We now have different groups joining together to fight, which can be awkward. Kyoka also said it'd be a good opportunity to get used to each other. Gemma and I have caused problems before, so we wanted to help everyone get along to make up for it. That's why Arashi risked being the target for revenge. We figured the group would cooperate against a common enemy. It wasn't that big of a deal. If everyone works well together, then I can slack off even more. So, you laid your stuff out all over on purpose? No, she's been messy since before we hooked up with your platoon. Kagero seemed to have noticed our ploy too. Yeah, he joined the game right away. He's in a neutral position and is pretty clever. I guess mission accomplished then. Everyone had a blast. I did too. Right? Even I was having fun after noticing it was all set up. Yes, it was fun just watching. Yeah, it was almost like a family reunion or something. How about another round? With Kasane and Gemma playing this time? I'm actually feeling up to it today. I guess I'll give in just this once. How about it, Kasane? Okay, but I'll be taking the win. I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. Wanna take a walk around Suo with me? Okay. I was just looking to blow off some steam. Great! Let's go then. I mean, I wouldn't say we've reached peace yet, but it's still relaxing to walk around this city. Yeah, I really like Suo. It calms me down when I'm stressed. Me too. I hope we can truly attain peace one day. In our next story, new information has been uncovered regarding the inhumane experiments conducted at the OSF hospital. That news? OSF hospital chairman Yanagi Ichijo had denied any involvement. But among the leaked data provided by a whistleblower included documents signed by Mr. Ichijo himself. It's unlikely that the ten members implicated in these accusations, including Mr. Ichijo, will be able to avoid any fallout. It seems like the researcher we saved came through. Yeah. The Ichijo family name could be ruined now, but that's better than thriving through evil deeds. How is your family doing? Have your parents experienced any blowback? No. I contacted them but they really didn't know anything about it. They were actually worried for me that the OSF might try something. I'm glad they're okay. Yeah, I'm so relieved because for a second I was worried they could be involved. Maybe I'll go visit them soon. What was that sound? It sounded like a crash. Let's go check it out. Over there! An accident! 
traffic accident? That's unusual. Excuse me, do you know what happened here? It seems like the car's auto drive program malfunctioned. The rescue team hasn't shown up yet. Are you with the OSF? I guess that means you can't really do anything. <sighs> Let's get a closer look. Yeah, there might be something we can do. Help! My son is in one of the cars! He's still trapped inside! There's smoke coming from the engine. The kid could be in danger unless we get him out. We don't have time to wait for the rescue team. Let's do what we can. Help! Just hold on a little longer for us. We're going to get you out of there soon. <sighs> it's locked. Can you remove the door with your psychokinesis? I could, but I might accidentally hurt the kid if I try to force it open. If only there was a way we could open it more gently. Okay, I'll try then. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my pyrokinesis to see if I can melt one of the parts inside of the door. That should make it come off easier. Okay, do it. Am I going to die? Don't worry. We're going to save you. Trust me. Can you back away from the door for me? Okay. <sighs> Yuito, you're up. Got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Your mom is waiting for you. Mom! Thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. Please, you don't need to thank us. I'm glad your son is safe. Um, thank you for saving me. Hey, I saw what happened. The OSF sure is amazing. Let's hear it for the Scarlet Guardians. What? When did this crowd gather? Everyone, please step back. It's still dangerous. The rescue team just arrived. I think we can leave the rest to them. As much as I want to see this through to the end, we should leave before the crow show up and get in the way. Whew. You were really cool. You acted so decisively, even when that was our first time dealing with an accident. What? No, I didn't. I was just desperately trying to save that boy. Well, I still think that's cool. Thanks. I think I figured out what I want to do. You finally got your answer? Yeah. I had an idea, but today really solidified it. I want to protect what I love, though I don't mean someone specific. I love this city and the people who live here, and I want to protect all of them. I don't want any of them to suffer. <laughs> I agree. I'm done with all this sadness that keeps happening. That's why I want to change the OSF first, so that what my uncle did will never happen again. I mean, they call us the Scarlet Guardians. We need to live up to our name. Guardians? Just like you were back there. T don't tease. But you might be right. Protecting people doesn't just mean fighting. I mean, even if we get rid of all the others in the world someday, accidents like that will still happen. Get rid of them all? I never thought that far ahead before, but you're right. In other words, our fighting ends when we defeat all our enemies. But protecting people is a job that will never end. Wow. I'm so impressed that you'd think so far ahead. I'm proud to be your childhood friend. <laughs> I mean, it might be a big endeavor, but I plan to start little by little. Besides, I only started thinking about these kinds of things because of you. I didn't have any ideals up until now. Seeing you run ahead, I wanted to catch up and run beside you. Then I finally found the path I was looking for. <laughs> what? I never thought for a second I was running ahead of you. Since I came in as a volunteer soldier, I've always been frantically trying to catch up to you. <laughs> then I guess we both helped each other grow. Let's go with that. Both of us will keep moving forward. Yes. This is the all-important first step after all. Yuito? Huh? What is it? 
There's something I want to tell you when I feel like I finally caught up to you. What's that? It's a secret until the time comes. A secret? I don't really understand, but okay, I'll wait. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait up! Oh, she's already gone. That's so Hanabi. Oh, Yuito. Sorry, I have some minor business to take care of. Okay. I guess I'll see you later then. I haven't really seen him since we talked. I wonder where he's going on his minor business. Hey, Yuito! I heard a strange report. Something about Kagero being placed into custody at OSF headquarters. What? What happened? I don't know the specifics, but the Chief may have figured out that he's the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. This is moving too fast. It's my brother, so he might do something rash. How did Kagero get himself caught so easily? I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom of this. Kaito! What are you doing?! I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm finishing this. <laughs> How very decisive of you, Chief. An execution with no trial. I like the cut of your jib. Don't be stupid! Nothing will change if you go through with this! You're a fool if you think I'm going to let you stop me. I'm not as forgiving as you. Not as forgiving? I always thought you were much nicer than him. You can talk all you want, but don't think it will change your fate. I'm going to make you pay for your crimes with your life. Oh yes, please do get on with it. I'd honestly prefer it that way. What did you say? Kagro? I know I need to atone for what I did, but really, repentance is so not my style. Plus, I come from the same time as Yakumo, your ancestor. People can only live for so long. So, if you can just go ahead and pull that trigger and put an end to this, Chief, I'll thank you from the other side. <sighs> now! Put the gun down, Kaito. I won't let you kill Kagero. Why do you protect him? There isn't a single reason to let him live. Even putting aside my emotions as his son, killing Joe Sumeragi is a serious crime. He was necessary for the future of this nation. Not only did he steal our father, he stole our country's future. I know that. That's why I won't kill him. That's why I won't let him die. Kagero has a responsibility to build a new future and replace the one he stole. Until he fulfills that, he can't die. I won't let him die, no matter how much he wants to. So please, leave Kagero's life in my hands. Fine. I understand. I don't like it, but he's yours. For now. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you make any wrong moves, there won't be a next time. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Did you get caught on purpose? I just wanted to set things straight for everyone. The Chief is your brother, which means... I killed his father, too. So, I thought it best to face him. At least once. Just like I did with you. I meant to have a peaceful conversation, but one thing led to another, and... No. I think you were well aware that my brother would probably kill you. The way I was talking? That was a bluff. I knew he wouldn't pull the trigger. 
I still have things I need to do. I'm pretty sure that's only half true. Well, who knows for sure. Could you just stop being so shifty? Just for once? You may want to die, but I won't let you. Like I said, your life is in my hands now. You'll live in my father's place, and you will fulfill your responsibility. <sighs> Thanks. Are you sure you want to thank me? You said it yourself, dying would have been easier. Still, I feel like I should thank you. Because of you, I have another reason to live now. I was totally empty. I felt almost like a ghost. But you believe I'll take responsibility as long as I live, so I guess I can't just run away. Kagero. I used to only think about the past, so I never really looked at what was there, right in front of me. The responsibility to build a new future. Well, you did grace me with your trust. I'll do all I can to make it happen. Good. So will I. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you as well. All right. Well, I guess it's time to contribute to society. Let's go out for a night on the town to revitalize New Himuka's economy. Seriously? Your ability to change gears like that will never cease to amaze me. Thanks. Now, we're gonna party all night. You're not going to do that strange Baki impression anymore? Oh, that? I don't do that anymore. I can't surpass Baki by just copying him. What? I didn't know you were striving to become a mascot. <laughs> you fool. I'm already as beloved as any mascot. I just thought it was a little sad to leave your support to an inanimate character. That's all. I know you have my back. Are you sure you want to trust me to have yours? What? Don't worry, I trust you to have my back too. Oh, cool. Good taste. Really? Thanks. You have a good eye.
You know what I like. Thanks. Okay. Didn't I have something to talk to Gemma about? Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you. This is... thanks. There's a lot that I wish hadn't happened, but I'm grateful I met you, Yuito. <laughs> well, I am your Baki, after all. <laughs> I did say that. I think of you now as a comrade. We'd understand each other even if we were far apart. At least I think we would. Yuito, thank you for being a part of my life. I want to thank you too. I'm the way I am now because I met you. I'm a little embarrassed I just said that.
Not bad. Thank you. I need to talk to Kyoka. 